welcome to the Onco Target YouTube channel. This week I will be introducing you to Dr. Reyes. She works with the Department of Orthopedics at Leiden University Medical Center in Leiden, Netherlands. Please enjoy. Hello, I'm Vera Draz from Leiden University Medical Center and next to me sits my colleague Jan Ferdinand Hensler from the Orthopedics. And together we um, would like to discuss with you our uh, paper um, in OncoTarget entitled Molecular Signatures of Age-Associated Chronic Degeneration of, of Shoulder Muscles uh, from February 20, uh, 2016 issue. Now, shoulder complaints are very uh, prevalent in uh, the general population. About uh, uh, above the age 60, about 40% of the general population will develop a, a rotator cuff tear, and around half the people that watch this video will eventually in their life develop a rotator cuff tear. Rotator cuff tearing leads to pain and impaired function of the shoulder, and this in turn will lead to disability during daily activities. Um, there are several clinical options, but the most prevalent one is uh, surgery uh, for, for uh, rotator cuff repair. Uh, however, the success rate of this uh, type of surgery um, drops significantly with an uh, elder population, and uh, currently we uh, don't understand um, uh, the cause of tearing and how we can treat this um, uh, disease effectively. Right, and then therefore we um, decided here in Leiden University Medical Center that we will try to understand the molecular um, regulators of the disease. We a hypothesis that if we understand molecularly what's going on in the tissue, we will be able to develop a better diagnostic and better a therapy. We're not there yet, but in the paper that we uh, published, we made the first uh, step towards it. Um, what we did, we collected a um, uh, two tissues from each patient that went to uh, surgery here in Leiden University Medical Center. We collected healthy tissue and we compared the molecular uh, changes between the healthy and the um, uh, degenerated tissues. And we did it on three levels. We looked at radiological features using uh, MRIs that were done a, a, for each patient. We um, did histological staining on the tissues and we did uh, RNA sequencing from uh, cell cultures that we generated from the tissues. And we uh, did that because we saw that the, histologically the tissue in the uh, degenerated tissue, uh, the, the condition of the tissue in the, uh, uh, in the degenerated state is very, very uh, damaged, which means that if we do RNA sec directly, we will see a lot of secondary factors that are less interesting um, for um, also diagnosis. What we found, we found that actually the cells in the, um, that we can generate from the healthy and the uh, degenerated tissues are highly similar. We didn't see any differences in cell death and cell division, also in, in cell senescence, they were quite similar. There were some differences in mitochondrial activity, but not significant. The most significant difference we found was in the capacity of uh, cells to fuse what we call myogenesis. This we also found back when we did the RNA sex. The most uh, genes that were affected um, by the uh, condition were clustered into muscle development, um, um, into muscle development, but also into the extracellular matrix that we know is often highly affected in uh, 
degenerated muscles. So the conclusion of that uh, study that the most important that we can find molecular differences between the intact and the degenerated uh, tissue. That means that we can in the future probably offer molecular diagnostic for the uh, disease. This needs to be developed. Um, we also were able to correct uh, some of the myogenic uh, features of the uh, degenerated cells by adding uh, one of the genes that was um, uh, its re uh, expression was repressed. That means that in the future we might be able to develop a, a therapeutical a, options for the a, rotator cuff disease. Yeah, to summary, uh, this, uh, this study represents an initial step and in future studies we want to develop uh, molecular diagnostics for uh, rotator cuff tearing for more accurate diagnostics, what's, what's going on and eventually to, of course, to enhance our treatment results and we aim for a better tissue regeneration after uh, rotator cuff repair. Now, for... Um, no, uh, it would be uh, for um, if, mm -hmm. um, uh, if you want to know more, you can always contact us or you can read our paper at the OncoTarget website. By clicking the link below, you can learn more about the research discussed in the interview from the cover paper of Volume 7, Issue 8. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.